Hello friends. Some of you decided that you wanted to see hauls and my most recent haul was a thrift haul of buttons. I personally really enjoyed watching Angela Clayton's uh, unboxing of a bunch of vintage patterns. So when I got a bunch of vintage buttons, I thought maybe I would try to do a little go through unboxing type thing here and just kind of show you maybe some neat little highlights of everything that I did get. I got these on Poshmark from I think three different sellers. This one and the button box was from one individual seller uh, as a bundle and I think it's just kind of a random assortment. This was specifically gold buttons. I think they're mostly shank buttons and this was all buttons that were uh, backed and still on the cards. And uh, let's start off with this one because I think that the, the cards might make it the easiest one to show off. Alrighty, got my water here and uh, not a lot left, but we're still ready to go regardless. This guy seemed like he wanted to come up first. It kind of almost has this wood-like pattern in it. I really like the color gradient. I really like the, just the colors in general. And this kind of iridescent wood-like pattern I think is really neat. He has a brother, they're the same size. Yeah, they're both half inch buttons. So this is probably going to go in blue. Another blue button, just a different brand. I think that most of these buttons are La Mode. So this is Elin buttons. On the back, it says they are five eighths of an inch. So not really sure what I'm going to do with buttons that small, but I'm really glad that I have them in my arsenal. Well, these are a button that is definitely closer to the size that I usually use. These are three quarters. I do like the big cartoonish buttons. These are slate gray and kind of have this texture around like a coin. So I just think that that's neat. I like that some of these have these little twist ties on it. Uh, these are orange, I wanna say half inches and oh, that's cool. Uh, they have a mark for washable and dry clean. I really like vintage packaging. It just has some really neat features sometimes. Okay, it looks like the, these are the only two others that have a twisty tie. These, I absolutely love these color wise. I don't think that blue looks very good on me, but I might need to uh, figure something out. I don't know, maybe I can have something that's like white with blue accents that would work with this because this is a really cute pastel blue, like a very springy, refreshing blue that I really like. These are some really cute brown buttons. They're just like that taupe uniform pants colors. These are, that is not flattering at all. There are 12 of these, maybe a blouse. I would need to find something kind of good fabric to be a blouse with though. Comment down below if you have any ideas. These are made of plastic, but they have this really cool wood look to them and they are also textured. This just, it just makes my crunchy little hippie heart sore. I think these are absolutely adorable. So these are all of our square buttons. We have this ivory color with that like little valley running through on the horizontal and vertical axis. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure what I would use it for. Maybe a button on a skirt because I only have two of these and because they are vintage buttons, they are quite unique. I really like the color, the color gradients on this. This just, the way that it's, it looks like it's painted on reminds me of like those wispy clouds in the sky on a really hot day. Once again, they're square and I don't know really what to do with blue. Well, it looks like we have a fun little pairing right here. Six, I'm not sure if I would call these like wine or burgundy or purple or brown. Okay, now in the viewfinder, it just reminds me of Pokeballs and I kind of want to have a vintage Pokemon themed dress with this that, you know, it looks vintage, but it's also very subtly Pokemon. You know what, let's, let's just try to find all these blues because I'm having a weird relationship with blue today. Okay, this is a beautiful shade of royal blue, but I have been watching Amigurumi videos for like the past 72 hours and now I'm just thinking these would be fantastic eyes on like a blue jellyfish. So maybe I'm going to have a blue jellyfish with very fancy vintage button eyes. <laughs> these are basically the same design, just a different colorway. Look at that. Once again, very 
airy, ethereal. This definitely reminds me of Jade. I'm not sure about this one, maybe Coral. I feel like all these buttons are making me really want to find projects to just highlight them and just to be a beautiful art piece. Seven eighths, so not quite a full inch. I absolutely love them. I think that they're absolutely adorable. I have been really wanting to do that Isabel from Animal Crossing cosplay, so maybe that would be the buttons for a skirt for that. Then again, maybe this would be the buttons for the skirt for that. That is a matte navy blue shank. That is really cute. That maybe that would be the better button. Or these navy blue, oh, like I don't even know what these are. Like the eye like cutout, the almond shape cutout. These are absolutely adorable. I'm gonna have like the weirdest Isabel if I do, the, do it with like full vintage buttons though, guys. Somebody needs to talk me out of this. <laughs> Okay, so this will probably include with blue. This is more of a gray blue. I don't think that it's showing up on camera as kind of cool as it is in real life, but it does have this cute little color gradient where it's more blue here and then it has those like little dark cloud spots. I'm really thinking about the weather in these buttons today, apparently. It's just like a storm cloud blue. You know how like little geckos and salamanders will have that little speckly spottiness to them like it reminds me of lizards in a cute way though <laughs> okay as a child i was like apparently obsessed with lizards according to my parents so me thinking that this looks like lizards is a fantastic thing and we have the same lizard look in a slightly bigger and orange Oh wait, we found another one in the slightly smaller size as well. So yeah, these are all my orange ones. I don't know, I, I, I feel like this kind of looks 60s. Like this would look good in a 60s style dress. Uh, that is a bar, it's not like a sheen or anything. It is kind of like that two-toned, so that's kind of maybe why I'm thinking of color blocking, because this definitely reminding me more of stone, kind of that natural stuff. This reminds me of little bars of soap, like once again, in a cute way though. I think that it's mostly that it has that transparent oval with kind of like that ring in the middle that's making it think of like soap in the guest bathroom that's only used at your grandma's on Christmas, but in a cute way, I promise. <laughs> Okay, so this is the same thing that I was talking about with like 60s geometric kind of print, only in purple. I have a purple fabric that I've been meaning to use for a while. It's also entirely possible that these buttons would go better with it. I don't know what this style of button is called, but to me it's like a donut shaped button where it's like that puffy outer ring and concave in the middle where it has the little uh, dots but also like this is not brown. I think it looks brown in the viewfinder. Oh, there it looks purple. Very shiny, so I don't think that it would be the appropriate one to match my purple fabric. It's very shiny. Um, and a much richer version of purple. Like it's a deep royal purple. That sound that like to me feels very warm and comforting. This once again kind of has that airy cloud feeling design to it. It doesn't have two. It doesn't have four, it has three little holes, which usually you see an even number of holes, right? It's usually like two or four, not three. But with this one, it's a little unique. And more soap bar buttons, only in purple. I think this is the only button that I have from this particular stash that I would classify as red, and it is like this wine maroony purpley red. Thank you for sharing with me, Miss Kathy. I definitely appreciate that. Similarly, this might be the only one that I qualify as yellow. It has this really interesting texture to it, almost wood grain-like, kind of opalish. I feel like a lot of these buttons are probably 60s. These are like a taupe brown. Got four of these. I feel like with my sewing projects, I'm definitely going to uh, at some point need just some simple but interesting taupe brown buttons, just because I, <laughs> me and earth tones, y'all. I don't know, what do you think? Is this kind of like a slate gray or does this have like a blue or green undertone? I think I might be calling it a slate gray. Just looking at the fact that it's a pair, my brain is saying suspenders skirt, 
but that is probably a very odd and niche idea. What are we gonna call this? Are we gonna call this pink? Let's call this pink. Let's call this a version of pink. It's got some like little metallic stripes to it. it an odd natural pink. It says it's purple. Where's the purple? I, I don't see it. How is this purple? Interesting marbling. I really like that. Once again, very natural feeling to the texture and color of the buttons. Just stone, maybe even of a birch tree. I'm probably gonna put you in brown. Once again, absolutely lovely. Absolutely no idea what project this is going to. I'm just gonna show the camera and let that texture speak for itself. There is nothing that I can really say that you can't see. The wood print, the it's semi-gloss and not a full gloss or matte. We, we're getting the 60 vibes off of this, right? Like, I'm not the only one. Absolutely adorable. Love the antique look. Very classic button look. Classic button shape, but with the marbling. Unclassic all the way around, but we're still getting 60s vibes, right? Because it has those stripes and the weird shape of the button. It's just cool. We agree, you are brown, uh, but a taupey brown, very natural looking, probably going to be put on some skirt and dress patterns pretty soon. Bag number two, because this was supposed to be all gold and hopefully not a hot mess. All different kinds of shapes of shanks here. We've got some pretty super domed ones, some flat ones, just some different tones as well. If this is just our going through and organizing rounds, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the gold pile. Now, out of you guys, just so you can see, kind of a cool texture, very natural feeling. I don't know, maybe something that's been hammered out kind of texture. Um, so it's not quite leaves, but it does remind me of banana leaves. We have two of these little waffle print guys. They look like little waffle makers. There are only two though, so it's not like I can have an entire dress of waffle buttons, but this, this is just fun. These are cute and adorable and I, I don't know. These are another just two kind of textured gold buttons. I don't know, what is it, trypophobia? That's this fear of small holes because it does kind of like have that little small hole texture in it. Just another shank for the bag of shanks. This feels very 80s to me. It is that kind of fake pearl in the gold shank. I don't know, it just makes me think of 80s business suits. It's only one though. Oh my God, girl, I got four of these ones. Kind of the same dots going around and around, but of course it makes you think of a flower. These are definitely modern. These are from artbeads.com. Maybe that's an inventory number so I could get more if I wanted. Uh, the description of it. They're kind of thin, but they are two tree of knowledge shanks. Okay, I'm not the only one that's getting major Majora's Masks vibes off of this, right? Like, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be a sun. Maybe it's supposed to be some sort of lionfish. I'm not sure. Majora's Mask, right? A one random single Majora's Mask button. Uh, this says Lauren Hancock on it, so maybe this is a Hancock's Fabric exclusive, but our Hancock's Fabrics closed down and is now occasionally a Spirit Halloween. Definitely kind of like a natural feeling to this, but nothing in particular. I really like the design though. Only one, so just like the pearl one would probably be like an interesting detail to the back of a skirt. But uh, we'll have to find out. These these are pretty big. Uh, they're square. Don't necessarily like the design on them. These are not my cup of tea. I'll ask my sister if she wants them because I know that she's been knitting a sweater. So I don't know if this would be a sweater that only takes two buttons, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it would be a little bit more her style than mine. The only words that I want to describe these owls are swear words. Like how bleep, bleep, bleep awesome they are and the last from this definitely like a distressed coating to it it's not just dirt this one doesn't quite have it though sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers though so definitely glad to have this all right the moment that we've all been waiting for and dreading yeah this is a little overwhelming for me now that i'm looking at it oh these are la mode but these are a different one the one from the order that we went through first they say choice of smart women for more than 100 years. These 
are at least 10 years. I just love vintage labels and watching them change over time. So this is, this to me is kind of a treat. And it's just these classic black buttons. How big are you? You say three eighths of an inch. So these are, these are definitely usable buttons. They're really cute, fuzzy pink guys. I don't know, this just makes me think that these need to be on a coat or something. But four more of these small guys and a big guy, but this big guy is textured. These guys are not. This seems like an appropriate amount of buttons for a sweater vest or like a, oh my God, if it was like Easter themed and like all these colorful pastel, that would be so obnoxiously adorable, right? Maybe we need to make an obnoxiously adorable like sweater vest or something. These are little balls and these are slightly smushed balls. It's like a very fluffy pancake. Okay, these are actually kind of cute, pearlescent, like white white yeah i have eight of these so definitely could make something with this they they, they feel kind of hefty too somebody please comment down below how to tell if a button is made of stone or plastic because yeah if these were plastic buttons they wouldn't have this metal bit glued to them would they okay this one is bigger this one seems almost identical to it or at least following the same design or pattern just shrunk down so the words are a little bit blurred on it. B-U-R-G or B-U-R-C-C-O-T-Y-R, 1780. So I don't know if that is saying it's after a coat of arms or something, or if it's supposed to represent something that's like an actual real thing and not just completely made up for a button company. It looks like a Latin motto here that says, our kid, Afst du, A R C H I D A V S T D U X. It looks to be a two headed eagle of some sort. So, if anybody has any idea what Arkid Vast do with a two headed eagle and what looks to be a coat of arms represents, feel free to tell me down below in the comments because this is kind of cool. Once again, it has a little brother. If it means something like religious like the masons or something then i don't necessarily want to appropriate something somebody's culture uh and something that's very important to them but if it's just made up gibberish to be a cool two-headed eagle i definitely want to use this okay that's interesting it's a clear pink that has an interesting texture to it yeah it does have two holes but the kind of the texture kind of hides the two holes what does this remind you of though because to me it kind of reminds me of an ashtray I don't know, a little set of four red buttons right there. Black button, black button, a hey, black button, ramblam. Whoa, black button, ramblam. Ooh, sailor black button. Oh, we got a little sailor guy now. Just going through all this to sort the colors, I'm glad that I'm doing it now because if I were to do the sorting of the colors and the organizing in one day, I would be absolutely worn out because I'm going to need a break. I've had this thing ever since I was little and it might be tied with autism, it might just be tied with childhood anxiety, etc. that if I talk for too long, it's like it feels like my throat is closing up and it just really hurts my voice box to be talking for a long time. It will physically hurt me to speak. So I think that these are all the black buttons that I'm going to identify right now. But because I am speaking to you right now, my voice box is very unhappy with me. Iridescent, kind of almost metallic looking, once again, beautiful color that I just don't know what I could wear with. That's green too. Like these are like, this is like the sage green that I really like. I'm really wanting to do something with these buttons. They're, I think that they are cute. And uh, I just really love this color. And I just put a bunch of these like pearlescent uh, white shanks in there. In certain light they would look orange, in certain light they would look red, you know, that kind of, yeah, you know. Y'all are navy. You are red? You're gold. You're green and got past me the last time. Rude. Brown, brown. I haven't given up on showing you guys the stuff that I got. I'm just trying to restrict it to just the interesting stuff at this point. <laughs> I have three little rhinestones floating around somewhere. I know I do. Uh, and these guys have rhinestones in them. So that means there's probably one that lost its rhinestone. Somewhat interesting little shapies here. 
Once again, kind of reminds me of an ashtray. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's pretty much the entire channel. These are glass if they have the little bubble in it, but I don't think that they are. I think they're plastic. This says Britannia. Probably just fell, fell off a pair of jeans or something and uh, just stored in the button stash. Why do I have two different piles for brown? Why, why have I caused my life to be such chaos? Why do I, why? Why have I brought this upon myself? It's late, I'm gonna put you all in white. Brown, white, brown, brown. Are you dirty or are you colored like that? Just get it done, just get it done, just get it done, 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 done. Almost there. Okay, so I have found a lot of these with this little metal backing on it, so I'm 99% sure that they all go together, but I'm not sure how many I'm actually gonna have. Huh. Here we go. We are finally done. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. New videos should come out on Tuesdays and Fridays, sometimes one though. So if I were you, I would subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I actually do post. I really need to give my voice a break. So stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Good thing I store twist ties like a hoarder, but that's also why I have Buttons like a hoarder. <laughs> Goddamn, that is a third one of those same buttons. I need to be more careful with this. Like, you gotta hold me accountable. I need to be on my A game. I I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put you in the purple pile because you told me to put you in the purple pile, but how are you purple? Please, answer me that.